Hey Pipers, Cal and Doyle, coming to you on a Friday afternoon. Thought I would do a little video response to Nathan Campbell's 500 sub contest and congratulations Nathan, that's a awful outstanding feat. Uh, you know, from where I'm sitting, I can't even think of getting 500 subs, but uh, uh, again, congratulations to you. And uh, so Nathan kind of wanted to know what we enjoy most out of pipe smoking. <laughs> so I kind of thought about this, you know, and, and there's been some real good answers and, and, and everything that kind of goes along with pipe smoking, the enjoyment, the uh, the rituals that go along with it, the relaxation, uh, you know, the, the slowing down and taking time to kind of smell the roses, as to say. Um, so... I, I kind of thought about that, and I do have all that, and I do find all that extremely, extremely enjoyable. But uh, I, I guess what the thing that I like most about it is something that happens occasionally uh, when I pipe, when I smoke a pipe. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens occasionally, and that's it. That's that I kind of get carried back to another time and another place or, uh, early in my life. Um, as you can see here, I got few couple pictures here uh this picture here is my uh maternal grandfather and uh he uh he was always a pipe smoker uh you can see in this picture he's got a, a little tipperilla he was smoking and he uh after he smoked pipes for a while he kind of got into where he was uh just smoking the uh the tipperillas but i remember him smoking a pipe for at least 10 years and uh, some of the things that kind of brings back memories of is that uh, he he had an independent cookie route. He sold Jack's cookies for years and years, and then after that he sold Murray cookies. And uh, he would uh, come in in the afternoons, and uh, after he would come in, uh, he would take and bust up all the boxes uh, from the cookies, and uh, he would take them in the back of his property, and he had a burn barrel. But uh, he was one of those pipe smokers that could work and smoke at the same time. I can't do that. I, I, uh, I, I really have to just stop and relax and pay attention to what I'm doing with that pipe. But he could. He could keep it lit. He, and he'd have that pipe. And, and that's one of the memories that I get, you know, is him walking from uh, his truck with those folded up boxes with that pipe. And uh, normally he smoked, uh, um, I want to say Sir Walter Raleigh, but that's not it. Uh, Prince Albert. Prince Albert is what he smoked. And uh, so sometimes I can smoke a little bowl of Prince Albert and, 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 I, and I get carried back to those times and where him and my grandmother lived not too far from us in Baton Rouge. And uh, we'd go over there and spend a lot of time. My grandmother liked to garden. But uh, anytime we were doing anything in the yard or outside or even inside, uh, that pipe was present. So that's, that's, that's one of the places that it takes me. The other place is... is uh, I don't know if you remember on the uh, Mississippi video, I talked about my uncle that had five acres up in Baton Rouge, and then he also had uh, <clears throat> he had a little place in Mississippi that we helped him build. Well, his name was T-Man, and he was known as my uncle T-Man, and uh, this is a real good picture of him, and uh, I mean, it just captures him perfect, and uh, he was a Granger smoker, and so if I smoke Granger, uh you know, I'm kind of taken back to a place with him, and but he was a little different. He was more like me. He would, uh, he was a, a re, he was a relaxation smoker. He he didn't smoke and work at the same time. But if we would be at his house in Baton Rouge, and uh, uh, we'd be finishing doing something in the yard or in the garden or working on something in the shop or just whatever we might be doing, you know, we'd go back in the house or, but, but mostly I remember he had a breezeway, he had a house and then he had a screened in concrete floor breezeway between the house and the, the garage. And we would sit there and the breeze would come through and, uh, he would smoke that pipe. Uh, I really don't even know what kind of pipe he smoked, but he would smoke it and, uh, smoked Granger all the time. And, uh, what I remember from that, is sitting there with my dad and maybe a couple other the brothers and just sitting as a as a youngster and listening to him talk about uh, growing up, talk about uh, the the depression, talk about my uncle T man. He uh, spent time in a CC camp and uh, 
you know, it just takes me back to a real good time. And uh, and and the only and you know, and I find that when I'm I'm smoking uh, that Granger and smoking that uh, Prince Albert, uh, or even just sometimes just smoking the pipe, it'll take me back to to those memories. And I guess the older I get, the the more I'm doing it. But uh, anyway, that's the thing that I like best about pipe smoking. So pipers, till we see you next time, just keep them smoking. <laughs>